And hot air balloons will be soaring above Craig this weekend as part of the Moffat County Hot Air Balloon Festival, which is where we find KREX5's Colette Bordelon, who may or may not be bad luck for uh, some people getting up in the air there. But hey, you are <laughs> in a hot air balloon basket, so that looks like good news. What do you have going on over there, Colette? Hopefully you're getting up in the air. I'm I am in a basket, and you know, yeah, the kind of joke is that I'm bad luck. These are actually called gondolas, which is a pretty cool name. I'm with Mark Whiting. Mark, you're actually a Grand Junction. You were born in Junction, right? I was, absolutely. And how long have you been hot air ballooning? This will be my 40, 41st year. Why do you love it? It's addictive. It truly is. I, I got on a balloon in 1978, and I just couldn't get out of a balloon. <laughs> Yeah. They are really cool and actually in these little baskets you can feel how sturdy they feel and how nice they would be in the air. I really do wish we were getting to go up but oh, I might right. be doing the next best thing. I'm about to play with this blowtorch, right? Yeah, the blowtorch or burner. <laughs> <laughs> I keep calling it, I don't know why I keep calling that. It's a burner. It's that's a the burner. that's the appropriate name. So how does this exactly power a balloon? Okay, so we have propane on our tanks. They feed through these lines. They come up and preheat through the coil. And as soon as you pull this, it will ignite from the pilot light that uh -huh. you see on right now. And that will throw the flame back out. All right. And it's just the same old principle in physics that you learned in ninth grade that heat creates rise. Right. Right. So do you want do you want colder air to rise in or what? Does it much matter? Much better. Much, much better. better. Yep. We'll fly in the winter. It's a lot of fun. We don't use much fuel. Fly in the hot summer. We use a lot of fuel. It's hard on the top of the balloon. Gotcha. That yeah. makes sense. Okay, I'm going to give it a try now because right. I really want to try this. These can reach up to 30 feet. So if anything happens, this is also my fault today. Give it a whirl. I'm going to do one. All right. <laughs> so much fun. It feels so like powerful. It's so much fun. It's so loud. I don't know if you guys can hear how loud that is, but you can feel the heat and it's just so loud. So you guys have been coming to this festival how many years? Well, I've been up here several, I mean, maybe six, mm -hmm. and I think it's an eight-year festival right now. But there was a couple of years in between, and then Barbie took over, and from then, I, I'll come back every year. The people of Craig are wonderful, mm -hmm. and to have you guys up here from Grand Junction, that's even better. It's a lot of fun out here. I mean, even though we're not launching, we have so many people who are all ready and excited about this festival. There will be over 30 balloons launching tomorrow. Yep. So this is still going on, even though I brought the bad luck today. <laughs> you guys can still have fun this weekend out here if you want to come on down. What should people know about hot air ballooning? What should people who say are scared of heights know about this? The thing that I would say mostly is that we can control our elevation. We can control our elevation within a few inches. And I want people to understand that because as we land in a neighborhood, I might land in the middle of your cul-de-sac at home and I've got complete control of the balloon. It's not an accident that we have to land in the cul-de-sac. It's also not an accident that we clear power lines and we'll do it at a higher elevation. But going in the trees, just like these cottonwoods over here, last year I sat in the top of the cottonwood for about 40 minutes. So it, you do whatever the wind will allow you to do. Of course. Yeah. Now, we've been here in years past when you guys are blowing up the balloons, and it is just so beautiful. It is really a sight to see. So you guys are lucky that you guys are going to see it this week. And if anyone does want any more information, we'll have all of that on westernslipnow.com. Thank you so much, Mark, Absolutely. as a fellow Grand Junctioner. <laughs> I appreciate you coming on out and having this interview. We will be right back.